What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Rave University. It's me, your boy, Ooze. Last week, I followed the recipe for Hamzy's mukbang for her hamburger steak. And if you haven't watched that, you can watch that here, here, and now. But this week, we're going to be taking it back to my homeland and something that I know for a fact is going to be good. Today, we'll be making plantain porridge in the Niger way, but a little bit Americanized because there's certain ingredients that I can't find. I've known it for years. It's something that I know how to make off the bat. So if you're interested in what a plantain is or you've never had a plantain, or if you're interested in what Nigerian food looks like, stay tuned, I'll show you today. And if you haven't already, please, 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 please hit the subscribe button. And if you want to comment, like, do all of that. All of that information lets me know exactly what you guys want to see from me and also what I want to do and what you guys like from me. So like I said, like, comment, and subscribe on all of my posts. To those of you that have already done it, I thank you and please stay tuned. I've been getting good reviews everywhere from not only from people I know, but from people I've never seen before in my life. So there must be something I'm doing right.
All right, you guys. So like I stated before, this dish that we made here today, this plantain pork with chicken and shrimp in it, is something that is near and dear and close to my heart and something that I make a couple of times a year if I don't make it at least twice a month. People often wonder what to do with the plantain when it's still green. When a plantain is still green, it's still in the, in the realm of a potato, if you will. Most people eat plantains when they're yellow and black, when they're ripe and sweet and soft. But a green plantain is more like a potato where it's more starchy and more hearty and it can stand up, it can hold up when it's cooked. So it's a vegetable unripe and a fruit right. I don't know if that's right, don't quote me, but that's how I looked at it, that's how I see it, that's how I grew up with it. And there's also a little something that you see I saw me use called crayfish. What that is is these little tiny shrimp. And then what I did like I did today, you could toss it in whole, but I don't like those little sharp points that shrimp heads give off sometimes. So I blended it down to a powder and then tossed it in there to get all that good shrimp flavor. And some people, what they would use, they'd use shaki or they would use stockfish. But I don't have those things because it's not easily accessible to me here where I live. Um, in order to go to the African market, I have to travel other places at least three hours out just to get to the international market and to get things that I normally would use on an everyday basis. So living where I do, I have to make amends with the things that I are provided to me. I actually learned this Americanized plantain porch from my parents because of where we live. Let's give this a try. And I haven't tasted it. I know it's good. I know it's good. This is, this is something, like I said, it's close to my heart. I could just look at it and be like, yeah. Ooh, I forgot to state that the habanero peppers in there. If you do not like spice, this dish might not be for you. You can still make it, but I would tone down the spice or you could take out the habanero pepper, but still use the curry and the cayenne. This without any spice at all isn't right. This is childhood. These are memories of living with my parents. All coming back to me, all in a pot. A home hearty meal that speaks to me on many different levels. You get some shrimp? Let's try the shrimp out right here. Perfectly done, perfectly seasoned. Uzo, you did. And if you don't feel your own cooking, if you don't feel it the way I just felt it, then you're not you're not cooking right because you don't like your own food. You gotta boost your own head up, ain't that right? Ugh. I hope that you guys enjoyed what you saw today. I hope you guys enjoyed or maybe even learned something on how to use a green plantain when it's unripe. And of course, in the future, I will be bringing you more recipes on the green plantain and Nigerian food and more Korean food and anything else that I really deem content worthy. But of course, I'll catch you guys back next week. Of course, whether we come back to the cafeteria, we go back to the history books or we go to the dance floor. Follow me all on all my socials that will be down in the link below. You can follow me on Snapchat, TikTok, and Instagram at Ooze Everywhere. Or you can follow me on Twitter at Rave University where I post all EDM news memes and of course all of my youtube production i'll see you guys next week ciao